Hello friends, uh, this is how Volcano looks today, right now, on April 12th at 8.35 in the morning. It keeps erupting, though the power of the eruption reduces it. Uh, we will start our update from the most recent uh, uh, report uh, by Icelandic Met Office, which came on April 9th. Uh, it was published under the title that the lava flows reduced uh, at the eruption site, so we have less lava coming from the craters. Experts from the National Institute of Natural Sciences and Land Surveys of Iceland went on a survey flight over the eruptions on April 8th, and based on the data collected during the flight, it was possible to estimate the size of the lava of the lava bed in the lava flow during the eruption. Uh, the results show the power of the eruption has steadily decreased. The average lava flow from the craters between April 3rd and April 8th was estimated to be at 3.6 cubic meters per second. Uh, and based on data collected by Apple Engineering Institute on April 3rd during drone flight, the average lava flow was estimated to be at 6.6. .6. So the power of the eruption reduced, is reduced almost by half. I mean, the output from the volcano uh, in the last period. And as you know, if uh, lava output uh, drops below 3 cubic meters per second, and we are close to that, we are now, right now 3.6. If it drops below 3 cubic meters per second, there's a great chance that the volcano will go off. Now, uh, the area of the lava bed is 6.1 square kilometers, and the volume is 30.1. 31 uh, million cubic meters. Recently, lava has flowed mostly south from the crater, but it temporarily flowed a short distance to the north on Sunday evening, April 7th, when the rim of the crater uh, overspilled. Uh, see, the outflow, previously, the outflow was from some hole at the bottom of the crater, but when that hole got blocked, the crater uh, got spilled over from the top, as you know. And as can be seen on the active map, uh, the lava has thickened the most near the crater and a little south of the crater, where there is most of activity in the lava bed. Uh, there are no clear signs of lava at once at the lava walls north of Grindavik or South Coast Highway or at the quarry of Melhot. So this is the current situation at the eruption site. And this is what happened on April 7th when lava flowed over the crater rim from the top when the Lower exit had been lower exit had been blocked. This is how it looked. It was pretty impressive to observe, but this phenomenon of lava falls didn't last that long. Uh, was caught on the live cam, as you see, camera had been shaking somewhat. And um, we saw similar event back in 2021. It had been happening quite often when lava was spilling over the crater in the summer of 2021 in, it was much more impressive than now now uh, we had a lot of discussions recently in Arsen on whether the access to the eruption site, the new eruption site at Sunnukur should be made public or not um, and uh, I saw an article at the morning newspaper, it was published uh, two days ago on this subject when they spoke to the police, um, uh, police management uh, in Kaplovic, which is responsible for the access to the eruption site on the issue. And we will go over this article. 
uh, it says that this is a different eruption than the other ones in the past. They have been far away from settlements and they have caused less danger to people. This eruption, however, has had greater consequences here uh, in Iceland, which has meant that the tourist companies has not been so eager to make this eruption some kind of tourist event, uh, says Johannes Thor Skulason, executive director of Tourism Association, about tourist access to the eruption site. Uh, eruption sites on the Reykjanes Peninsula. And discussions uh, have arisen in the Facebook group called Baklandi Tourism. Uh, Baklandi, the, the back support of the tourist uh, industry in Iceland, which where the guides and drivers and tour operators discuss situation, tourist situation in Iceland and elsewhere about the excess of foreign tourists and other people interested in the current eruption and the question among other things has been raised whether it is excluded uh, to use a fraction of the resources that go to the defenses in the eruption area to prepare parking spaces and allow people to walk up to one of the hills and the vicinity of the eruption to admire it for yourself. Uh, same person, Johannes, says it is obvious that it is not appropriate to sell access to disasters that destroy and threaten people's homes. Though the current one didn't destroy anybody's home, it was happening back in January, which also put apart uh, several eruptions um, uh, which took place. Not every one of them is the same. But it can also be mentioned that the access to this eruption has been slightly different so that access has been hindered due to the roadblocks and those who were eager to see the eruptions had already walked up to the other eruptions and therefore perhaps less need to run after this one says johannes even more so as you know because roads had been closed for um, for a long time in the area and people couldn't access even uh, it from the from 10 kilometers per diameter roads had been closed for months, really, for a long time when we had those eruptions ongoing now. Uh, he says that the tourism company's interest in driving people to the eruption is now more limited than before. And when asked, he says that the eruption now both attracts tourists and also scares them away. The eruption has received considerable coverage abroad, which can be both good and bad. We had uh, we have also seen different short-term and long-term effects. These so-called tourist um, eruptions uh, were very convenient for people, small and easy to go and explore, says Johannes. He says uh, the coverage of the eruptions has been quite positive, which helped when the tourism industry recovered from the pandemic. However, the coverage of the eruptions in the vicinity of Grindavik has been very difficult and various rumors have started about disruption of air traffic and more. Some foreign uh, tourists uh, who are not familiar with Iceland have swall swallowed it. The current discussion has that uh, for had more negative effect than the other. So we lost a lot of tourism, tourist traffic coming to Iceland as a result of those eruptions north of Grindavik. We will go uh, over the police opinions uh, on this issue uh, and we will uh, take a look what uh, Ulver Ludvigsson, police chief uh, in Kaplovic, which is responsible for the area, says on this issue. He says that we are really just wondering uh, what can be done about the access of people to the eruption site uh, when Mona newspaper, news, newspaper asked him on this. He says that the access to the eruption site is not a problem in itself. After the opening of Blue Lagoon, the distance to the craters uh, is relatively short. It's very easy to walk up Silinga Fat and see the volcano from there, just one kilometer hike. There is something about people walking towards the eruption, but it's not a big problem in terms of access, says the police chief. The task of police is to direct tourists to and from the eruption. The emergency services are not up to that task as the situation is today. Neither the police nor the rescue teams um, are ready for that. 
as it's not in itself their task, the task of the rescue teams to maintain such surveillance. They did so back in the old days, but not sure if they will be up to that too again. Uh, when asked, uh, Ulvar says that uh, the traffic to the eruption interferes uh, with the traditional tasks of the police. Of course, I have a police officers involved in this project, and this is, of course, a project that we can say is not one of the traditional tasks of the police officers to be on guard during the uh, volcanic eruptions, uh, says Ulvar. However, his office is assisted by the police officers as well as uh, the good support of the office of the commissioner of the police um, in Reykjavik. We get the help uh, of the police in the capital area and the police in the south, which are the officers closest to us, says the police chief Ulvar Ludvigsson in conclusion. We are just looking at this and trying to look a little uh, into the future, because now, as you know, we can slow it down. Uh, the, it's very slow output of um, uh, lava and gases, and they, are do, they do consider this perhaps in the future, so we will keep you informed how the situation develops uh, and see what happens out of that. But for now, the access to the option site is closed. Of course, there are some people who are sneaking through illegally and get to the crater, but so far it's not had been allowed uh, officially. Bulgun is open today, though I heard it was was closed for some time briefly yesterday when the volcanic gases went over the area. But right now, as I see, it's open again, and you can see it on their website here. All the operations are open. I read more on the conditions in the area, and we will go over that. And uh, it says here that over the past few months we have been reminded of the forces of nature and the effects uh, uh, they inevitably have uh, on us all. We have resorted to temporary closures during the spirit, but also used the time to review emergency plans and improve the area's infrastructure. Unfortunately, weather conditions can affect air quality and therefore opening hours. We will send update information if conditions change. Uh, Sunukur Crater Series is active, but lava flows do not threaten the infrastructure at the Blue Lagoon facilities. The main factors affecting the operations of Blue Lagoon now are the effects of the eruption on air quality. We have expanded our network of gas meters in and around Blue Lagoon. There is also a weather observation station at Blue Lagoon, where weather and winds have the decisive effect on the air quality of the area. In this way, we can monitor the situation and collect important data in real time and implement response plans if the data warrants it. We continue to follow the recommendations of the authorities to the fullest and, close, to the fullest and closely monitor the situation in cooperation with the authorities and experts who work diligently every day to ensure the safety of staff and guests, uh, learn from experience and use new knowledge in a constructive way. Information about the situation on Reykjanes air quality and the conditions of the area can be obtained from Icelandic Med Office, Public Safety, and Loftkaidi.is. Loftkaidi means air quality.is. As always, we are ending our footage with bonus lava videos from Iceland, from the volcanic eruptions back in 2021-23. Enjoy the footage, be well, peace and blessings, God bless you as always.
birds can fly, planes can fly, helicopters can fly, and lava can.